Hi and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creations channel. Um, I promised a friend yesterday that I would do a quick um, tutorial on the um, shrink wrap modifier. Um, so here we go. Um, as you notice, this is a car channel and um, that's obviously not a car in front of you. Um, it's actually a jewellery bro box I created for my mum yesterday. Um, but it has got um, a nice curve on it, which is ideal for showcasing the um, the shrink wrap modifier. Um, if you notice here, I've created this is the this is a guide mesh um, already created. Um, if you're creating a model, the first mesh you create um, should be a guide mesh. If you if you're going to use guide meshes. Um, one thing to point out about the guide mesh is that um, subdivision, um, the view levels have to be or should be at least two levels higher than the uh, mesh you you intend to model. Um, that is because um, you need a more density in terms of um, in terms of vertices in the guide mesh than you do in the in the ordinary mesh to make sure that you get the smoothest possible uh, transition. So the first thing to do is to shift D and copy the um, the mesh. Um, we will hide the original guide mesh and um, we'll disable the modifiers on the new mesh. Okay, so we're going to edit mode. Now, what I intend to do to, to show this is, I'll just put the subdivision back on for a second. Um, sorry, the mirror, not subdivision. The mirror on for a second. What I intend to do is cut a hole here and um, extrude out a, a pipe, if you like, a pipe. So imagine a pipe coming out of this face. Um, and that will showcase the the um, that will that will showcase the, the shrink wrap. Um, so first off, we'll add a go into um, object mode and we'll add in so shift and A and add in a mesh circle. Um, before you do anything else, immediately go down to this drop down menu here and change the vertices to 12. Um, we don't really need more than 12 vertices um, on this. So if I go back to the to the modifier um, hide the mirror. Okay, so choose this one. go into edit mode and I'm going to bring it out so it's sitting just in front of the mesh so just in front so it's just out okay so go back into front view um, because um, we've because there's a mirror, mirror modifier what we'll do is range select these vertices and delete them okay then we will add back in the um, we'll add back in the mirror modifier. Okay. Select and scale it down. So select it, scale the hole down. Excellent. Now move this across. Okay. So what we'll do now is join both meshes together. So click the circle, click that and press Control J. That joins the meshes together. So now if we go into edit mode, we've got this. 
So what we're going to do is to create the hole is to select these three vertices and delete them. So X, delete vertices. If I now put the uh, mirror modifier back on, So we add the mirror mirror map modifier back in. Okay. And now we're simply going to fill in the fill in the gaps. So press that, 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 and that, and press F to fill. Okay, then we press select that vertice, that vertice, and press F all the way around. Excellent. Okay, now we've just got an issue here um, because we haven't got clipping on, so pull that in, clip it into place, and that one as well, by the looks of it, and clip that one into place. Okay, so we've got a hole now. Um, what we now need to do is add a subsurf subdivision surface. Um, increase the viewport up to up to two. Okay, um, and now add in a shrink wrap modifier. So we do that in object mode. As you can see, the because we've added the circle in now, it's it's um, messed up the topology and um, obviously that's not a very good mesh at the moment okay so what we'll do is add the shrink wrap modifier in okay now the shrink wrap to effect needs a target the target is obviously the guide mesh okay um, so you click into this into this box choose guide mesh and you can see it automatically writes the vertices, but if you notice, go go in close. These vertices that we've added are pulled in from quite a distance, so it'll improve your um, topology. If we go back into object mode, simply go down to this drop-down menu on the shrink wrap, click duplicate. So we're duplicating the shrink wrap, and what we do is apply the first one. So there we go. Okay. Um, now the shrink wrap relies on a, on a vertex group as well. So if you want to add um, vertices, if you want to if you want to create something within there or extrude something out, you need a vertex group to capture what. Um, needs to go into the shrink wrap. So if we go into edit mode and for this purpose we'll, hi we'll highlight this row, so press Alt this um, loop and hide it. Then if we go to, to one of the vertices and press L that will highlight all of the um, vertices that need shrink wrapping okay so what we do now is go to this little green triangle um, and add a vertex group in so when we've got the vertex group in we we assign those vertices to it so press assign um, now we click out of there and go alt and h to bring back the other meshes now we don't want that in in the in the um, vertex group, so we press remove. Okay. Press it a couple of times to make sure it takes effect. And then 
to see what you've actually selected and all we want is the vertices um, on the face so we go to select and just have a quick cursory look round and you see that everything that you want in the so you've got none of these these don't need to be in the shrink wrap because what will happen is it will shrink all those vertical so you you just have two faces okay so that's that's some um, good so now we're going to select this row um, but first first I made this mistake last time um, first get, go into object mode go back to the modifiers go to your shrink wrap and then click in and choose your group so we've ch chosen the group now okay so now we're free to do whatever we want with this mesh and you can do what you like with it basically so what we're going to do is extrude out on the x-axis press it twice to make sure that it it comes out and then pull it out okay now that obviously doesn't look right you can see through it and whatever and that's because we need to go back to the let's go back to the vertex group and we need to remove that if you watch this when I press remove okay so now there's your thing now obviously we need to add loop cuts to define the shape so press control R here click on the left mouse button and then press E and if you see uh, next to the near to the mesh you'll see a little red dot and that's um, that's the way the vertices are aligning so just keep moving it and moving it and moving it till you're somewhere near Oops, just there that'll do okay and then we want another one so again remove that from the vertex group um, click here and do the same press E and F look for the little red dot and it's that way so move it that way and that means that when you add a loop cut um, the distance between each vertice here and here are exactly the same if you aligned it from this side it would line up against that okay so again one again remove that so click out the box to deselect everything press select to see what we've got in there okay that's fine so just to finish this piece off um, we'll select the outer ring press f to fill fill it then we'll press i to indent it and I again to add a backup there you go um, the reason it's done that is because of the mirror modifier and again you need to remove all these so you click here Oh, I know why it's done that. If we go back a level or two, I didn't um, take the boundary out when I filled it in. So press Ctrl and Z a few times. Right. So if uh, so, I press F. Okay. Press I. To then go in to there. Go down to the bottom here. When you're in set faces. Um, deselect boundary and you'll see in the middle take that out okay so we press I again look in object mode and there you go um, just to tidy this up now this mesh we'll need a surrounding loop here so if we press ctrl R press E 
and just guide it in as close as you can to it. Okay, keep guiding it in. Press return. Click out. And now look at it. There you go. So we've we've what we've done is added. Um, we've added a shrink map wrap modifier and the original mesh. See how the lines just go through it still. Okay. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you need, I will put in um, a steps list in the description. So it's like a checklist of what to do. So if you get stuck, if not, please um, message me on here and I'll try to help you. But I find that the shrink wrap modifier is, is absolutely superb. Um, it's, a, it's, it's brilliant. So thanks everybody, thanks for watching, um, see you in the next video.